Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Time Magazine says climate change is destroying American history. They say that the burning of fossil fuels caused Hurricane Ida to hit the Louisiana coast last August. The hurricane destroyed some historic sites from slave plantations. Time Magazine then went on to say that the hurricane season is starting earlier and sending a growing number of storms spiraling towards the coast each year. They didn't mention that this year has been a record quiet hurricane season with no Atlantic hurricanes so far. Six years ago, the Washington Post was terrified by an unprecedented lack of hurricanes hitting the United States. Hurricanes large and small have eluded U.S. shores for record lengths of time. A major hurricane hasn't hit the U.S. or Gulf Coast in more than a decade. But the United States hasn't always been this lucky. This map shows all of the hurricanes which hit the United States between 1851 and 1950. That's a lot of hurricanes, but somehow Time Magazine determined that one hurricane in the year 2021 was caused by the burning of fossil fuels. This map shows all the major hurricanes which hit the United States between 1851 and 1950. Louisiana has been hit by a lot of major hurricanes, including Camille in 1969 with 200 mile per hour winds. Time Magazine says that hurricane season is starting earlier and sending more storms towards the U.S. coast. Both of these claims are the opposite of reality. The United States has not been hit by a hurricane during June since 1986. But a hundred years earlier in 1886, the United States was hit by three hurricanes during June. 1886 was the most active U.S. hurricane season, with Florida being hit by three hurricanes and Texas being hit by four. Three locations in the U.S. were hit by two different hurricanes in 1886, including one in Louisiana. The most powerful of these hurricanes destroyed the city of Indianola, Texas. It was the second major hurricane to destroy Indianola in a decade, and they never rebuilt the city. That was some actual loss of history back in 1886. From 1851 to 1950, June hurricanes in the United States were fairly common, but we haven't had one for almost 40 years. Christopher Columbus was nearly killed by a hurricane on February 10th, 1493. If we had a hurricane now during February, there would be mass hysteria, and the press would claim it couldn't have happened without the burning of fossil fuels. Time Magazine's claim that hurricane season is starting earlier is once again misinformation. And their claim that the number of storms is growing is disinformation as well. This graph from Ryan Maui shows that the number of hurricanes has been declining for 30 years. And these graphs, made by my beautiful wife Kyrie from Japan Meteorological Agency data, show that the number of Pacific typhoons has also decreased. Ryan Maui also shows that the world is having an historically quiet cyclone season. Let's look some more at some actual American history. The most expensive natural disaster in U.S. history in inflation-adjusted dollars was the 1926 Miami hurricane. The storm destroyed Miami, Hollywood, and Fort Lauderdale and killed a huge number of people. Scientists blamed the hurricane on a large amount of solar activity which was occurring at the time. The director of the Berlin Observatory said, Sunspots are indications of hurricanes on the sun combined with the strongest electric radiations, influencing the atmosphere around the Earth and causing atmospheric disturbances. The Red Cross said that 1926 was the worst disaster year in American history, but then came 1927, which was even worse than 1926. The 1927 Mississippi flood was the worst in U.S. history and lasted for about six months. That flood fundamentally changed the demographics of the United States. Hundreds of thousands of descendants of slaves who had homesteaded along the Mississippi River after the Civil War were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these descendants of slaves ended up moving to northern cities like Chicago and Detroit. Later in 1927, St. Louis, Missouri was largely destroyed by a tornado. And during November 1927, Vermont had their worst flood on record. Floods on the Winooski River destroyed more than 1,000 bridges and drowned the lieutenant governor. I lived in Winooski for a while and commuted on my bicycle past this building every day on my way to work. 
In 1927, we had actual scientists trying to understand the climate. But now we have fake journalists who are destroying and erasing American history. Carbon dioxide is not a pollutant, but misinformation from the press most certainly is. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on these scamsters in the press, government, and academia for the past 14 years. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Tokianupala on the web at realclimatescience.com.